right everybody so we're gonna react to the peep is awesome video how's it going guys you guys are sending in the disc so let's peep this do pumpkin this. chai latte i was without content today so this is good content hey here what burning out aspect of it would be trying to find actual content to make. Valorant lacks content. It's just a written fact. Unless you're making videos about skins or stream highlights, then you're, you're basically out of luck here. Which is exactly why there's one Valorant content creator that stands out when it comes to falling off. And that is noted. Oh no, does he unironically have was taken in his Twitch username? Oh no. No, my Twitch was hacked. The guy took my ad for some reason. I have no idea. He's probably gonna charge me money for it later that's why you change everything to taken was noted because i wouldn't have the same handle as oh bro <laughs> which doesn't help you at all and funny enough my channel got hacked two years ago what are the odds you know what Ten thousand likes and i'm changing my username to peep was taken bro peep in it was taken <laughs> yeah. so despite having over half a million subscribers this youtuber has been doing not very good what are these thumbnails good. bro right off the bat i feel like i'm entering like kids youtube like you get what I'm <laughs> yo here comes the roast. The thumbnails are like, I've, I've been trying different stuff because soon, when I switched to the finals, like my views dropped a lot. And I was like, okay, I gotta try different stuff and rebuild my, my channel. So that's what I've been doing. Like I'm just testing stuff, you know. Whenever you are in your lowest, that's when you got, should be trying a bunch of stuff. And this is where I am. This is my lowest right now. So I just start trying stuff out, you know, for my subs. See what sticks. Uh, if it doesn't work, so good, we gotta keep trying. First, let's talk about who Noted even is. So weirdly enough, according to the Liquipedia, Noted was actually a professional Apex Legends player, which is kind of confusing to think about considering the fact that he's a Valorant YouTuber who's signed by multiple iconic esports teams like Team Secret or Cloud9. But the one thing I can't- Yeah, I used to play uh, Rainbow Six Siege for Pain Gaming, and then after Rainbow Six, I went to Apex, and then I joined Cloud9. And that's, and I, and I used to do a lot of Apex contests, but again, he got deleted. I have a few videos that he wasn't listed because some like there's this uh, YouTuber guru that I watch and I got in contact with him because my channel was doing so bad. It was like, dude, I got to get some help here. And he told me that those older videos are hurting my algorithm to get to newer people now. So that's why I took down, not didn't took down, but I enlisted many of my Apex Legends videos, my uh the finals videos like many of them are enlisted now can't comprehend is why he's a valorant youtuber like and he never transitioned from apex legends to valorant like he he's been a valorant youtuber but now let's talk about no see this like before this there's a bunch of apex videos but the guy deleted it's not much you can do about that like the algorithm kind of hurts if you have those older videos the like. fall off so how's a youtube channel with over 600,000 subscribers struggling to hit around three to four percent of its subscriber base when it comes to views first off that's my inside joke how dare you steal my inside joke yes i'm copywriting a hard nah that's why i shared joke bro Harvard inside joke now. See you in court. Unfortunately, this does not look like an 11s or eat those kind of situations. Jesus Christ, you make videos about YouTubers. For That's your thing. That's your niche. What the fuck? Yo, shout out Ethos, though. I don't think you fall down, my boy. Situation. Truth is. That's the thing, like. You know, let's keep watching. I think he just got stale. Let's actually watch his videos real quick. Clip day. Y'all want me to react to some clips? Here it is. If you want to send the clip, go to discord.gg slash noted. Noted. No zero. Just there's a little piece of come here. Let's go first clip of the day. This is from Boy Yoda. What is this overstimulating ass Lele Pons filter you got going on here, dog? I genuinely. Dude, I love the filter. I don't give a fuck what he say, bro. I feel like I you're about to turn filter. into Lele Pons and just start screaming for no reason. Like, I don't take myself serious and I'm super goofy. And I think that's why I think it's funny. Like, I love this filter so much. That looks so, like, that looks so stupid, bro. I'm sorry. I think filters on a YouTuber are just unfunny in general. Like, like no offense to people who watch Farting Glitter. Like, bro, this makes you look so unfunny. Like, goddamn. Like, I don't see, like. I mean, that's the thing. Like, in your opinion, it makes her look unfunny. But, for example, I think it's funny. There's, that's the, that's the beauty about the planet. There's many people with different type of tastes and many type of people watching different stuff. And there's people that watch this. There's people that watch e-dating. There's people that watch my content. There's people that watch your content. It's according to whoever's watching. So there's place for everyone. And you're entitled to your own opinion and everything. But I think your channel so far, uh, nothing against you, peep. You can do your thing, my boy. But your channel so far is just like talking down on people that are already down type stuff. You know, you point the problem, but you don't point the solution type stuff. You know what I mean? I, I don't see how anyone could just sit here and watch farting glitter. Like this looks so unfunny. The whole we're starting so hot. Oh my god. What if just I think your mom dropped you when you were a toddler, dude? Holy I gotta rewatch this. Yeah. The whole video specifically is just me trying something new, but at the end of the day, like it was so bad. Like the editing's so bad, bro. Oh, I'm against the short attention span brain rock content. But at the same time, you can't be posting 22 minutes of uncut footage, bro. No offense, no one's gonna watch that. First order of business, bro. I don't think the viewer clips were I mean, I kinda agree with you, like the video. This video did kind of poorly. It did like around seven minutes of watch time, which 
for my channel, like I normally give four to five minutes. I think for my channel is okay. Like people had fun, you know, that's my, my most important thing about this video is to make people laugh and have fun. And if you go through the comments, many people are la like had laughed and had fun. And that's, that's the thing about my channel. Like I want to make people happy, like get out of their shitty days. If they're depressed or something, the whole idea of my channel is to make people happy and laugh. That's, that's the thing. And this humor might not be for you, but it might be cool for someone else. That's the thing. That's the beauty of it. Works. This is so hypocritical of me to say, bro. I, I gotta stop. <laughs> all, right, all right, look. In my defense, in my defense, my viewer clips videos hit 10% of my subscriber count. So I, I think I get a. What? Sorry. Me to say, bro. Need two minutes of uncut footage, bro. No offense. No one's gonna watch that. First order of business, bro. I don't think the viewer clips works. This is so hypocritical of me to say, bro. I, I gotta stop. <laughs> all, right, all right, look. Oh. In my defense, in my defense, my viewer clips videos hit 10% of my subscriber counts. Yo, peep, why, why do I have this feeling from you that you always think people either gonna judge you or attack you? And that's why you are always this passive aggressive person, like talking about my other people channel type stuff. <laughs> like nobody, like if your video did bad because you're reacting to your viewers, like clips and stuff like this, nobody gonna judge you. Like you're just some, trying something new. Like it's all Gucci, you know what I mean? So I, I think I get a pass here, all right? 10% is healthy. All right, you I can do just be pass, All right, let's move on. I think this is exactly why less than 2% of your subscribers oh, are watching okay. this video. <laughs> all right. I think that's the real, like, many YouTubers see YouTube as a competition. And I think that's the problem. Like, I was talking to my boy, Amy on PC, and we're talking exactly about this. Uh, shout out to him, by the way, he's a super nice guy. And we have this YouTuber Discord where we all talk about views and we share sponsorships to one another to help each other out. And on that on and on that very Discord, like we talk about, okay, so we all can see this crazy drop in viewership for Valorant. So what should we do about this? Like, we're trying to find a solution. Like, trust me, like I, I'm not them. Like, I can see the numbers and I can see uh, the channel decreasing. But it's the, like that's the thing. Where's the solution? Like, we're trying to find a solution. You know what I mean? <laughs> Number two, you're a little late to the party, dog. I'm not gonna lie. WTF? I'm gonna keep it real with you, G. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I fully agree with him. That video, I don't even know why I did that video. It's because it's so, like, I don't have, I have a TikTok account, but I don't use TikTok. I don't use shorts. I don't use, I don't watch Valorant content. Uh, but other than that, I don't watch gaming content. Like, I gotta start watching more stuff. If you uploaded this, like, half a year ago to a year ago, then this video would have popped off. Unfortunately, I think everyone is over with, like, the Valorant e-dater drama. Like, let's be frank here. And this is the part of the video where I sort of turn against skin content. Personally, I think there's a lot of downsides to making skin content. Because if you go through Noted's YouTube channel, you're gonna notice that he kind of relies off of buying skins to maintain views. I never understood these people. Like, especially... It's kind of true, but not really. Because the videos that I... When I first started... I was doing like skin videos to see if, if it would stick with the algorithm. And YouTube, at the end of the day, people want to see new stuff, no matter what the content is. So my idea is to bring people to see, okay, there's a new skin, but it's to bring people to see the content. So use skin as a bait, quote unquote, but it's not really a bait because the skin will be there. But the content, people go, I, I want to make people laugh with the content within the, the duration of the gameplay and stuff like this. That, that was the whole idea, and I think many YouTubers do this because it works. I don't know, like, if you do gameplay or anything, but apparently you don't do gameplay, right? For example, if you do gameplay, your video is not going to have as much views as you talking stuff about, I don't know, like, uh, Joe's, right? Or, or Ethos, or even, like, I don't know, like, what is this? But, like, your, your YouTube channel is related to drama, right? So if you do gameplay, it's not going to work as much. Uh, so I think in terms of skins... I, we use skins in the thumbnail because it is gameplay and it's people going to relate to it. That's the only reason I, I, I have nothing against this to be honest. And I'm like, if you watch my other videos, like always very honest, whenever a shitty skin comes out, I'm like, guys, do not buy is absolutely dog shit. I'm very honest about it. Especially average Jonas, people like you're not Justin. Like if you think about it, the return on investment on this, people like understood these people, like especially average Jonas, people like you're not Justin, like if you, uh, for context, the Mark 7 Liberty bundle goes for over $50. The way YouTube monetization works, I think it's safe to say he earned under $20 making this video. 13 and 75 on the YouTube city. <laughs> so th that's the thing, like YouTube uh, for Valorant doesn't pay well at all, but it does pay well in sponsors. And that's the thing, like don't, whenever you are a YouTuber, you want sponsorships. You don't want to live off of AdSense because AdSense money is never 
Good for you bundle too. solely for the video. And assuming he's not going to use this bundle in the future, he technically lost like 30 to $40 making this video. So it's like, I personally don't even get the point of this video. And like I said, this happens very often. And all this can be backed up with the fact that he spent over $7,000 on his Valorant. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not really the guy, like, I don't... I'm not a flexor, I don't, like, you can see my IG or, or stuff, like, I don't post pictures of myself and my house and, you know, like, I'm not really this type of person, but, like, the money that I spent here, I can guarantee you that I made way more than this, like, the skins, like, I spend money on the skins, but the skins give me, like, the money back, and, like, with sponsorships, with deals, you know, like, I did this uh, up, uh, post on Reddit for YouTubers only, uh, where uh, I open all the numbers. So if you want to go check, it's on, it's on Reddit. It's on pa partner YouTuber, YouTubers. That's Reddit. Twitter, this is a good transition point because I want to talk about this tweet right here. Me after switching games. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I lost so many subs. Right now, I didn't lose 1,900. I lost 4,900. Yeah, this is giving me PTSD. I tried switching to a Rainbow Six channel. It that's is probably the thing about me. I never give up. Like, I love what I do and I never give up. So I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. You know, I gotta keep trying stuff. I gotta keep seeing what's work. It's not one or two or three videos that are gonna tell me uh, if something works or not. It's way more than that. You gotta grind way more. You know, probably one of the worst mistakes of my YouTube career. If you're a if you're a small YouTuber, word of advice: do not try to switch niches. It is not going to work, and it's going to backfire horribly. The reason I'm bringing this up is because oh no, did he delete it? He literally deleted everything before I made this video. It's like he oh the fines. Okay, uh, yes, I reopened them uh, because I I re I watched your videos like so have an idea what you were talking about and yeah i reopened uh everything so all the videos are out if you want to check them out okay so all of them for this it's like he knew i was coming after him that is insane what a coincidence anyways long story short he started uploading the finals videos and they were underperforming so badly like i want to say like 2,000 views 3,000 views per video what are the odds of that bro <laughs> yeah so you are wrong like the videos on the finals were doing quite well actually the finals had 80,000 players concurrent right my videos were doing like 17, 16, 17, 41, 13, 14, 10, 15, 12, 15. Like it was doing good. It wasn't like the best, like the best that I could get, uh, but it was doing quite well and I was happy about it. But I want to I wanna rebuild my channel for Valorant and then I want to branch off of two other games because my dream is to be like... To play whatever I want and just have fun and still get views, but that's that's the majority of people. Like that's the majority of YouTubers, uh, but it's kind of hard to do that. And what I try to do is extremely, extremely hard. Like just switch content like this is not only risky, but it's extremely hard. But I decided to take this hit because uh, I was working on it. You know, I was working on it like to to have like a, a good financial health, so I be so I was able to like take this time and and focus on whatever content I want to do. And I definitely, I think it was good. I think it was good for, for the amount of players in that game. I think it was pretty good. I'm happy about it. So yeah, I feel like one of the reasons why his channel was so underperforming is because he tried to switch to a finals channel and that took a huge bite out of his following. So what can we take? Yeah, you're 100% right. 100%. Got this video. Number one, don't switch. Like, before switching to the finals, my videos were getting like 30, 40K, which is healthy. Like I'm still good in the algorithm and, and Valorant. Uh, but after the finals, now he's getting like, then 20k so number two don't make content. content that's a yeah. headache to watch and number three have fun thank you guys so much for watching right so that's it that was peep is awesome uh very good video and yeah guys do not say in hate for peep you guys already know the vibes much love it's all gucci everyone has the the you know if everyone can have an opinion uh if even if i agree or don't agree like i also can have my opinion and yeah that's that's the that's the beauty of it you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm See you guys next video. Peace out.